experience some of North America's most beautiful landscape and never leave the tri-state. Joining me is Stephen Lowe, director of Rocky Mountain Express. It's now playing at the Omnimax Theater, of course, at the Cincinnati Museum Center. It's so nice to have you here. Thanks Thank for coming in. Thank you very much, in. Tanya. Okay, so this is the Rocky Mountain Express, which I don't know anything about. Can you give me a, just a little information? Well, it's a, it's a, a steam train journey across uh, um, British Columbia and Alberta and, uh, and really across Canada. Uh, and it's one of the great railroad trips on earth in terms of uh, scenery and what have you. And it's also a great historical story. And because you say if had it not been built successfully, so goes Canada. Right? Yeah, Canada risked everything to build this railroad in 1880s. And they almost failed because they chose a, an extremely difficult route. And uh, in the end, uh, they su succeeded, but just barely. And they lost a lot of people. Um, but uh, Gosh, the railroad, that's beautiful. it's the most, really among the most beautiful landscapes on earth. Well, I guess the beauty would be one reason, but what drew you to this? Oh, I've always been a, a train fanatic. And when the, this Canadian Pacific Railway restored the steam train, uh, I just had to film it. I, I mean, just... it didn't take a couple weeks to film this. This took how long to film it in Omnimax Max form, which is giant. Yeah, it took about six years altogether. Six years. Yeah. And can you explain why? It only runs a couple weeks a year? The train, uh, on and off, uh, it would do a, you know, four or five days here, another trip back and forth between, principally between Vancouver and uh, Calgary, which is really just through the mountains. And it did one trip to Montreal. Um, it, it's gorgeous. But there are any moments when you're filming this that turn scary? I mean, because you're looking at rocky cliffs and all, I just can't imagine that, I can imagine that there had to be a moment where something went kind of scary. Yeah, the hel any kind of helicopter photography is, can, can be scary because you're working close to the ground, very rugged terrain, very heavy camera, um, about 400 pounds of gear on the front of the helicopter. So, uh, and you're dive bombing the train at, uh, you know, 120 knots and pulling wow. up a thousand feet. And uh, so you have to be very, very careful. A lot of people are killed make, uh, doing aerial photography. Oh, I bet. And now you talk about working in an Omnimax format. Right. Do you enjoy working? Uh, those cameras are just heavy beasts. They're such a 70 millimeter, right? Is it the yeah, it's, it's uh, what we call 15 per 70, which is really three times bigger than 70 because it's pulled sideways. Yeah. So it's three times bigger than what they shot Lawrence of Arabia on, for example. So it's, it's enormously high quality. It's, it's a lot harder and a lot more work and a lot slower. But the end results are vastly greater than, you know, a Hollywood film because the, the quality is unbelievable. And the dome's really fun. Especially yeah, sitting at Omnimax Dome is beautiful. Yeah, especially a topic like this where you're, you're threading through the tunnels and, you know, you're flying and you're, it, there's terrific uh, kinesthetic effects. You know what it sounds like? The perfect thing to see on a holiday weekend, doesn't it? The, Absolutely. The Rocky Mountain Express is playing at the Omnimax Theater now through February. It's a perfect wintertime movie. And to see in that an Omnimax Dome, as you mentioned, just gorgeous. And the venue of the Union Station is uh, its one of the great railway stations in the world. Yeah. And to Apropos, come and immerse right? yourself in, in it's uh, absolutely fabulous. Well, thank you so much, Stephen, for coming. And we wish you continued success. Thank you, Tanya. You know, none of